All right, we are in Hawaii with Amos Talalele. Talalele. Okay, close enough. Close enough. Close enough. We're, we're learning. We gotta get the fans uh, to know how to pronounce it here. So, yeah. um, this USC offensive line class bringing in five guys. It seems like you all have gotten pretty close with each other. What's kind of the bond you formed as a group? Um, we uh, formed a tight bond just with um, on that visit there, and I met Micah before on other visits. So we just had a tight bond, and I feel like I recruited Alani and Micah well enough to commit after me after that official visit. And I think, yeah, I think we're all really tight. We have uh, messenger group chats, we have uh, Instagram group chats. We just send each other funny stuff, laugh, you know, with Henson. So I think we have a pretty tight bond, and this class is going to be something special, especially this online class. Aside from just being a lineman and sharing that commonality, what was it that connected you all on that visit? On that visit, it was just cool to see, like, oh, like, hey, like me, like me and Alani, like, oh, we're gonna play guard, bro, and then like Michael was like, oh, I'm gonna play center, and of course like Elijah and Tobias were, were there before, and they said they're gonna play tackle, and I think what really connected us was. Um, just Henson and uh, the coaching and like we, we love the same things about Henson about his genuineness and Coach Riley and what they did with the program you know so I think yeah what connected us was like the coaching and like it felt like family you know so take me into your efforts to, to recruit Alani and, and Micah to join you how hard were you working on them I mean I, I mean I wasn't working hard I was just facetiming them and really just having genuine conversations with them I wasn't sitting here telling them Commit to USC now. Yeah. I was just sitting there talking to them about like family, life, and football, you know. And so, uh, sometimes the pros and cons with going with USC or going, uh, which they were trying to go for is Oregon. So it's good that we got them over Oregon, you know. What was your reaction when it all came together and you, and you saw this this whole OL class come together? Oh, man, it was big, man. I was surprised. I mean, I was like, damn, we got a we got a front five, you know, for every <laughs> position. It just looked great, man. And I feel like we're all really capable players, you know? And, you know, I don't think ratings define us. I think we're, we're all, like, five stars, man, for sure. Elijah was the last piece. Did you get to know him very well during the process, or was that more of a surprise to you that he jumped that on? That was more – yeah, that was more of a surprise to him. I know we were recruiting him and Caleb, but, yeah, no, definitely as a surprise to him since he was uh, committed – Originally to Notre Dame. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that was a big surprise for me, and I, he seems like a really cool guy. He's like all about God, and you know, so am I too. So I feel like me and him are going to connect well, and I think he's enrolling early. So good luck to him, you know. And so you're going to be playing guard. Guard. Well, yeah. Why is guard the right spot for you? I, I think uh, Hetsa told me I'm like big and athletic. You know, I, he said you want to see me on counters and pull plays. Me and Lonnie just just bruises, you know. And I feel like that's my game. I feel like the we get out to see you play one game early this fall when USC was up in Northern California and you were just mauling guys. Uh, how would you describe your, your strengths as a lineman at this point? Uh, strengths as a lineman, I think I just, I move really good for my weight and size. And I think, yeah, I, I like, I play a really physical uh, game with, for linemen and I feel like I have really good feet for like being as big as I am, you know? Uh, how you weight is, what again? Uh, six four three thirty five. And is that where they want you, or? Uh, I think Henson wants to be down at like three twenty, three eighteen, so okay. somewhere around there. Like, well, he just told me like that's like the draft kind of weight, so mm -hmm. like you know, just take that into account. But he's not really like forcing me to be really anyway. Gotcha. So as long as you can move your your feet and not be slow, you know. <laughs> We talked on the phone a few times early in your recruitment. This, things were just kind of blowing up for you. When you look back on it, what was that whole process like to see that wave of attention come in and then you have this hard decision to make? You commit to Cal first and you, you change to USC. Hey, look back on the whole process. Looking back on the whole process, I mean, uh, it was stressful, but it was a blessing, you know? Like just to get all that uh, attention and really see your dreams come true as a kid, you know? So I just think it was, I, I try to enjoy it as much as I can. And, Cal, yeah, they were they were a good school. I mean, they're like one of my schools that I grew up watching since I grew up uh, mm -hmm. right next to them. You know, so I just I love, that's like one of my it was like one of my dream schools. Even though I had other schools, and I went there, it was cool. I committed on the visit, but uh, now I'm just looking what's best for me. You know, sometimes you got to be selfish on like you know I know that Cal really treated me well, but you just got to be selfish. You for know? sure, for sure. So, you know, so I seen Riley and Henson. I mean, they just. Put a big factor on me. I was like, I gotta go here, man. This, this is gonna give me my best shot, like the NFL. And I seen that Henson uh, took one of his guards, uh, Kenyon Green, uh, first round, and he's like, what, 16th pick? So I was a big, it was big for a guard, you know, to mm -hmm. go first round and 16th pick. So Henson really did play a big factor on me to take me where I want to go, you know. 
after you did the Cal commitment, how hard did the USC coaches come in? Like, what was the response from them to get you on campus? And it was that next weekend. Lily, only Henson called me. He really, like, that's why I, I mainly loved Henson because he's really genuine with mm -hmm. it. I mean, when he called me, he always just said, like, hey, man, just give us a chance. I'm like, if, if even if you don't commit, we're not going to pressure you. Even if you don't commit here after the visit, I'm fine with it. You know, there's no pressure there, you know? So I just think I loved it and I just love to visit more. And he never like suddenly like tried to make me commit to them. He never pressed me, he never even mentioned anything. And I just committed there, man. The overall relationship with Henson, how did they kind of develop through that process? And, and you, you've talked about some of the, the attributes that you like, but what, what is that, that forms that strong bond with him? Um, so yeah, we uh, first off we've been talking for a long time. We, we, we've been talking since like for months since I think since March, and then all the way to like June and now. So I just think yeah, for talking for a while. We, I mean we had dang, that man kept me up for, from school sometimes. We were talking for out for like <laughs> hour thirty sometimes, you know. And we just couldn't stop talking to each other. So I just think attributes is that he's a really good talker, really good listener. He's really good at advice, and he's a great coach. I mean. The proof is in the pudding, man. Like, like from how many people he sat, where he coached at, and it's just how he coaches. I mean, he's not one of those like um, Southern coaches that just cuss at your yeah. player, yell at them. He's the type to really talk to you and really dig deep. Like, what's like, what's the problem with you? You know. So I just really uh, like that about Hanson. When you're talking for an hour and a half, what kind of stuff are you covering with him? Man, we're covering life, man. I mean, <laughs> we're covering like personal stuff, man. We're just sitting there laughing. He's always. He, he has some man. He can tell stories for days, man, about uh, his life in college and his kids. And yeah, I love it because I'm really big on family, and so he and so is he too. And he was really uh, not nice, kind of my family, and uh, took care of my little sister. So yeah, I love that dude, man. Well, just lastly, looking ahead to getting the USC in the summer, what kind of timeline do you envision for yourself? When, when do you want to make an impact? I'm sure you want to make an impact as early as possible. But what, yeah. what, what do you think is kind of the plan for you? For me, I mean. I talked to Henson when he visited my house. He's just saying, like, I just told him, like, I want to go in there. I want to compete. I want to challenge everybody for the spot. And I want to challenge everybody for playing as a true freshman. That's, like, the mentality you got to walk in with. And he'll be in the – I just said, he just told me he'll be the judge of that to either retro me or let me play as a true freshman. So, yeah, I think my mentality going into USC is trying to play, like, challenge everybody for the spot and play as hard as I can. And, like, no matter, no matter the uh, – the outcome, you know, I'm still happy to be there. Yeah. Well, great stuff. What's your excitement for this week? Huh? What's your excitement for this week? Uh, man, we're in Hawaii, man. <laughs> it's already exciting. And just um, just representing my Polynesian uh, roots, you know, Samoan, Samoan. So it feels good. And it feels good to have some teammates here. Like, I think Zachary Ranch. Malachi Nelson's for I think. But I have Mike and I have Micah here. It's like Zelani didn't want to come. <laughs> But yeah, it's just good to have like some of my teammates here and maybe I could recruit some guys over here too. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff, Amos. Thank you very much. Guys, show the fans the shoes. Oh, uh, yep, man. Fight on, on USC. Brand. On brand. Yep. <laughs>